What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. So let's start the video with Big Rami. As the former Mr. Olympia gave his first interview to his clothing sponsor, Smile Dogs. First of all, let's all admire Big Rami for respecting the opinion of the judges. Never once in his career, we saw Rami complain about his placings. And the attitude remains the same this year as well after getting fifth place. Rami, whoa. Big Rami. Honestly, guys, I had it. I had it that. You, you had it that. I had that. And the um, only reason why I didn't say it is because I was hoping I would. Big Rami is probably one of the most humble guys in bodybuilding. Now, what's the plan moving forward? Well, he has no intentions of retiring anytime soon. So the goal remains the same. Come back and win his title back. I need to make uh, a great plan for next year to, to get my title again. Okay. And I hope he can do that. I do hope Rami comes back and fixes a few things because that will make up for a great storyline going into the Olympia next year. Now, realistically speaking, I'm not sure anyone can stop Derek Lensford, especially if he comes with a bigger package and with that same small waist. The man looks like a cartoon character with those freaky proportions. Let's address the Chris Bumstead bicep controversy, guys. Considering his biggest rival, Ramon Dino had one of the best arms in the division. Was that an injury or perhaps inflammation caused by a side injection? And most importantly, did it matter? Well, it was the most dominating performances in the history of classic physique. He did not lose a single shot against Ramondino. He was too big, his shape was so superior, and even if we assume it was actually an injury, Chris Bumstead still went on the record saying that this was his best version ever, even better than 2020. I think it's my best look yet, yeah. And honestly, his biceps looked bigger and fuller this way. He walked all over the competition and that too in style. Yes, Ramon looked massively improved and really impressive. But keep in mind, he went through a lot of struggle to make classic physique weight. So, there is no margin to put on more muscle and that means his improvements for next year won't be a lot. Chris Bumstead isn't just a physique. It's a brand with 13 million followers on Instagram. It will take something extremely unique and extremely different to dethrone Chris Bumstead. Right now, no one has the guts to do that. The people who were there in the audience went on the record saying that the pictures or videos don't even do justice to what Chris brought to the stage and what he looked like in person. So I think he will remain the champion for as long as he wants to. And he is definitely coming back for number five next year. I'll be here next year, that's for damn sure. I'm not missing out on another opportunity like this. Now that the pictures and videos are out, People are questioning how Hunter Labrada beat Andrew Jagd at the Olympia. If we look at the second callout, the guys who were fighting from 7th to 12th. Hunter Labrada had probably the worst midsection control, especially during the transitions. Just notice how Andrew and Hunter transitioned from the front biceps to front lat spread and how Hunter was letting his stomach go. And I think that's one of the reasons 
why the judges penalized him. Even Crezo standing next to him was doing a better job. So, did they just place Hunter over Andrew based on hamstrings and glutes only? Well, what about the front shots? Andrew Ja dominated that call out in the front double, front lat spread, abs and thigh shot. And it isn't like Andrew's conditioning was off. He looked really good in the side shots as well. And what about his unbelievable shape and beautiful flow? Doesn't that count for something? Believe me, there were people out there and the IFB pros who had Andrew in the first call out. But that just goes to show you what a dangerous competitor Andrew will be once he gets those hamstrings and glutes polished. Because that is his only weakness. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.